Hello, this is Dr. Lior V. Barrell again uh, with a review for the new Gigabyte uh, 2048 MB GDDR5 GeForce GTX 660 Ti. This is the overclockable edition. Uh, it has a uh, triangular uh, coolant, which I got to tell you now, this is the unboxing. I pretty much pulled them out of there. I'm just going to show you guys a little bit. Uh, what I like and what I don't like about this. Hold on. I'll be back. Okay, so we're back uh, So basically this is how the card looks now I know there's a lot of people that you know, they like they like it when it's closed You know like a encasing on it now. That's the trade-off now What happens is on my computer the one I'm building right now I'm nicknaming it uh, cyber demon uh, what happens is it, the case is really really cool So I, I'm not really scared about it dissipating, you know the heat dissipating all over the case I'm gonna be back. I think the battery is a little messed up here. I'm gonna be changing it be back Okay, sorry guys, I'm back. Okay, now I'm going to tell you a little bit uh, story about these, uh, you know, the different kind of graphics cards that are out right now. Now, I know a lot of people like the encasing, because the encasing pretty much ejects right here and dissipates all of the hot air out of the back of the case, which this thing does also, but uh, it just handles it better. But here's the thing. What happens is when you do that, the cards do overheat a lot. It goes over, you know, the recommended, uh, uh, you know, sometimes uh, if you play Crisis 2, I found that it goes over the recommended heat percentage, which goes over like 100 Celsius, which is not good. And some of them, I, I mean, I've heard a lot of reports and all that. Now, this thing is opened, right? It has two ginormous fans that do a very good great job in cooling it uh, and now what I like you know there, there's a negative to it too because the heat dissipates you know the, the card is gonna be much much cooler I would say anywhere from I, I found out 10 to 15 and sometimes even 20 degrees cooler on idle uh, but, but if you uh, play games and stuff it's about 10 to 15 10 mostly on average uh, cooler than the other uh, than the other graphics cards that are that have the encasing now what happens is that means it dissipates the hot air all around the case which increases the temperature in your case but if you're smart like me and you do like right here what I got here all complete here which I'm gonna be replacing now the graphics card you have a uh, 200 millimeter fans or 180s in there or whatever and you cool that case really really well and you pu uh, push and pull the right the correct way you shouldn't have a problem with the heat dissipating on the all over the you know all over your computer but the heat dissipating all over the computer to me even if i had a problem with heat as long as my cards aren't being you know screwed over here these expensive cards right here uh, which this one retails about uh, what is it three uh, three fifty because uh, this is the overclockable edition. So I mean, you know, I rather have a cooler card. So now let let's get into uh, what I like about this thing here. See the it has the fins right here, the cooling fins that pretty much go all around. Uh, the, if you see even on the sides here, it's like a little bridge, and you have your copper pipes right here, and uh, you see it goes pretty much all throughout. And uh, uh, I measured it's about. 10 inches uh, roughly so make sure you have a lot of room in your case for these things another thing is it has two uh, ports that you could use uh, dual uh, uh, what do you call uh, dual monitors it has uh, HDMI it has uh, things on it right now because I just opened it right now uh, also it does uh, you know SLI which is covered here in crossfire or whatever uh, SLI all you know ah, sorry. anyway so this thing is a pretty good uh, chip. Uh, I've I used it on Crisis 2, which I think everybody should test a graphics card on Crisis 2 because it's the most demanding. It's more demanding than Battlefield 3, more demanding than Call of Duty. Now I'm getting 60 frames, okay, on maximum ultra settings. On well, don't forget. Uh, I mean, this has really nothing to do with it, but I have eight cores also on my processor. It has a little bit of things to do with it, which I overclocked to about five gigahertz on each core, and I have this baby right here. So I'm playing it about uh, Crisis in about six, uh, sixty. I'm uh, sorry, sixty uh, frames a second on average. Uh, sometimes, uh, very rarely, do I get a little lag. Uh, for things like Diablo 3 um, and um, Call of Duty and all of those awesome games, Battlefield, I'm playing it on max settings, everything, and I have no issues with it. In fact, that's why I liked it so much. Another thing is this thing came with Borland, uh, Borderland, Bor some shit, I don't know what the heck it's called, Part 2, I didn't install it yet, uh, but which is pretty awesome. I mean, you're getting a pretty good deal 
for a card that is cooler, runs cooler than the other graphics cards, and on top of that, you get a free game out of it. So this thing is meant, you know, you're not going to need to increase your fan speed like I did with my GTS back in the, you know, back then uh, when I used it on SLI. What happened is I had to increase the fan speed from 60 to 80. Now, when you increase fan speed to 80, that's about a sweet spot, but don't forget, you are screwing it up, the longevity of it. So everything out of the box is just better in general. So, you know, coming right out of the box to be, you know, running at such low temperatures. I mean, I think the most on a full load uh, these cards went up to, which is weird, is 60. Uh, I haven't went over 60 on these things. And I'm talking about full load and, you know, the way I test things, it's rendering and a bunch of other crap. And also on top of that when I'm playing games and, you know, whatnot. So uh, this is the graphics card I'll be using, two of these babies right here, uh, using them on SLI and seeing exactly what I get out of it. Now you remember, when you use this as a single card, it's perfect. You don't need more than that, to be honest with you. But, uh, but when you use SLI, don't forget you are increasing the heat that's going to be dissipated all around your computer. Uh, so what I would do is I would put a slot fan. I mean, I know it's kind of corny, but it is worth it to get. So anyways, I'll see you in the next review.